Hello everyone, it's Ben at TV Parts today. Uh, we are going to be removing the boards out of this Sony TV behind me. It's a KDL-46HX800. Uh, it should be a pretty involved video. If you have any questions or need to order any parts, you can give us a call at 1-800-203-7484 and let's get right into it. This is the back of this Sony unit. Uh, there are just gonna be some screws that we need to get out of here so that we can get the back plate lifted away. Uh, and uh, let's just get started. And I do believe that it is it for the screw, so we should be able to get this back plate lifted up and away from the chassis. Should just come right off there and we'll get started on these boards. The power supply board is up first. Uh, we are going to want to get these clips around the outside removed first and then we're going to go ahead and remove these four screws. Uh, these clips are pretty self-explanatory. There should be a small latch on the top. You get your thumbnail in there. You should depress that lever and it should just come right out. Same thing with this guy. It's just a little latch right there in the middle. Use your thumbnail to depress it. Should just be able to pop it right out. These three are gonna be almost the same. Uh, there's gonna be a small latch on there that you just wanna push down. And they should just come right out of the board. Anytime that you've got a plug like this that's giving you a little bit of problem, just try pushing it back in until it clicks. Depress that lever one more time and give it another shot. She usually comes right out. Now that we've got all of those taken out, we're gonna go ahead and get the screws and that should be the board coming away from the chassis. Now that we've got the screws out, the board just lifts very easily away. Next up is the T-Con board, and it is a little buried here. Uh, we're gonna wanna get some of this stuff out of the way uh, just so that we can actually get to the T-Con board itself. Uh, this plastic piece right here is uh, going to also have a uh, connection for the wall socket. Uh, so we're gonna wanna get this unplugged from the power supply board, and it just lifts up, and we can set this off to the side. Next thing we're gonna do is this little bit of adhesive right here is covering up one of the screws that we need to actually get this plate off so we can get to the T-Con board. So we're gonna very gently peel this up and just kind of fold it back for now so that we can get to uh, these ribbon cable connections. And what you wanna do with these is just get your fingernail up underneath it, pop them up, and these ribbon cables should just come right out. So that's it for those. Uh, the clips around the outside are gonna be much like the ones on the power supply board. We're gonna wanna use our thumbnail to depress the lever and just pull it right out. Same thing, this one up here. This one's gonna be a little bit different. Uh, you're gonna have two buttons on either side of this cable that we wanna depress. At the same time, we wanna pull it straight out from the board. Uh, this one right here is going to be much like the other two. Um, you're going to want to punch that with your thumbnail and just pull that out. So we are going to want to do something with these wires that are going across here. Uh, we're just going to pull this tape up and away from the board. Peel that back. And there is another piece of tape over here with the cabling that's connected to the power supply board. We can just get this whole thing laid out to the side. Uh, this other cable here is connected to the power supply board as well. So we're gonna go ahead and get that plug uh, unclipped, the tape taken off, and we can get that out of the way as well. So now with those out of the way, we're gonna start with these screws that you're gonna see here. These are very fine, uh, small screws. We're gonna to wanna to use a fine tip screwdriver uh, so we're not stripping those out. So after we get those screws out, we wanna pull up on this metal housing piece just gently. We don't wanna pull anything out. We don't wanna jar any of the pieces in there. And it does feel like there's a little bit of adhesive so I'm gonna go around each corner, kind of break that away until the whole thing comes out. Now, after we get this out, we should be able to drop this away from this metal piece, and that will give us our T-Con board right there. So the next stop is going to be the main board. Um, and just so we can get a little bit better shot here, I'm gonna get this piece taken off, set it off to the side here. 
Uh, we are going to want to get these uh, uh, various plugs and cabling removed from the board first before we get the screws out. Uh, so starting with this cable right here, we're going to depress the two buttons on either side of it, and this should just walk right out. Uh, this is going to be similar to the other plugs that we've seen where we depress the clip on the back end of this, and then it should just come right out. Same thing with this one and this one. This one's gonna be a little bit different style, but the same kind of idea. There's gonna be a very small little clip right here on the edge of it that we're gonna to wanna to push down. And it is giving me a little bit of resistance, so we're gonna pop it back in there and try one more time. You don't wanna force these too much. There can be some damage to the clips, or they can become brittle over time and things like that, so you do wanna watch out for that. Uh, now we'll get to these screws and the main board should come away from the chassis. I believe that those four screws were it. Doesn't appear to be any adhesive or anything and that main board just comes right away. All right, so the last stop on this little repair adventure is gonna be the LED driver board. Uh, we are gonna do things just a little bit differently in a little bit different order, that is. Uh, we're gonna get these clips out and then we're actually gonna take these screws so that we can get to these ribbon cables right here. Uh, these clips are really self-explanatory, much like the other ones in the TV. We're just gonna use our thumbnail to depress the lever. Let's come right out. Now we are going to remove these four screws and they are gonna be uh, what we're gonna be using the fine tip screwdriver for. Uh, they're smaller, we don't wanna strip them out with a screw gun or anything like that. So let's get those out of here. Set those off to the side. We can pull this whole piece up and out, set it off to the side as well. Now you can see those ribbon cable connections that I'm talking about right here. We're gonna to wanna to get our fingernail up underneath those and just pop them up one by one. And after we've done that, we can just take these ribbon cables, they pull right out. And there is gonna be a little bit of adhesive uh, right about here on this board, it's keeping it uh, connected to the chassis. We wanna be mindful of that, that we're not gonna be causing any damage to this board, putting too much stress or too much bending on it uh, that could cause any damage to it. And that lifts up and away, and that's the adhesive right there. And that's our LED driver board. That's gonna do it for this removal video today. I know it seems a little daunting, but if you have any more questions, leave them down below in the comments section. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you do subscribe, you'll receive 20% off your first order through TV Parts today, and we will see you next time. Thank you for watching another TV Parts Today repair video. If you have a question regarding your TV repair, post a comment and we will try to help. And don't forget, you can help us and stay up to date by subscribing, liking, and sharing our content. Also, check us out on Facebook for exclusive promo codes.